This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you on location from ITW 2018 in the windy city of Chicago, Illinois. And I have got quite a group with me at this at this time for this interview, this JSA TV interview. Um, and so let's get to some introductions. Um, first of all, I've got Mr. Victor uh, Tria, and Victor is the, um, at PLDT Alpha, he is the, uh, uh, excuse me, easy for me to say. He is the first vice president and head of corporate business solutions. I have Mr. Richard Ortega for PLDT US. He is the managing director and senior advisor. And then last but certainly not, not least, my new friend, Mr. Wade Chen. Wade is with Zen, Zen Layer and he is the director of Global Alliance. So just so that um, we kind of set the stage, gentlemen, why don't, uh, Victor, we'll start with you. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about PLDT Enterprise. Well, thank you, Dean. PLDT Enterprise is the B2B arm of PLDT, which is the leading uh, ICT and digital service provider in the Philippines. Our mission is to empower and, uh, and enable businesses of all sizes uh, with the uh, latest technologies to keep them competitive in this, uh, in this very competitive uh, uh, technology environment. Thank you very much, Victor. And Richard, anything to add there? We represent also the global enterprise client base, uh, those that are currently doing business in the Philippines, mm -hmm. and new enterprise clients that could be new to the Philippines, new to Southeast Asia in general. We service those clients out of the U.S., basically North America, the U.K., EMEA, and other parts of Asia. So I represent the global arm mm -hmm. of the enterprise business, and we have somebody that also manages that group out of Asia. So we are a global company. Very good, thank you, Richard. And Wade, it's your turn. Uh, Wade with Zenlayer, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about Zenlayer? So Zenlayer, um, we have a software-defined platform mm -hmm. that we allow for bare metal to go on demand, uh, layer two connectivity on demand, uh, dynamic acceleration, um, and then that's kind of why we're working with some of the carriers to provide this platform to them and mm -hmm. enable them to get to market quicker and uh, basically you know, catch up with everything that you know, the cloud is doing and things that are on demand. Very good, thank you, Wade. So the reason why we're all here together is because um, their companies have just made um, some, uh, just uh, dropped some very exciting news. Um, so who would like to talk about that? I could tell them all I want, but I prefer that you guys talk about it. Who wants to talk about that first? Can I can start. Yeah, how about you, Victor? Go <laughs> yes. ahead. Go ahead. We are actually partnering with uh, with Zenlayer. Uh, to roll out uh, software-defined wide area networking solution. Uh, this is for uh, the growing base of PLDT's uh, global enterprise customers. The intent is to, uh, to give options to customers who would like to, wanting to have connections between U.S. and the Philippines and China and the Philippines and vice versa. And, and we hope to launch this uh, by the end of this quarter or by the start of third quarter. Awesome. Thank you, Victor. Wade, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about your involvement? So as the director of alliances, um, you know, I work with PLDT to let them know what our software-defined networking does, mm -hmm. working with their entire team to uh, put the POC together so they can test this, and then also getting it ready for the production environment so that their customers can start leveraging this, and then also helping um, you know, educate their team on what exactly our software-defined platform can do to help them achieve the goals that they're trying to reach. Very cool, very cool. But you mentioned customers, so let's stay on that theme. And I'm going to direct this to you, uh, Richard. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what this, uh, what this partnership actually means to your customers? Well, a lot. You know, PLDT on the global front and domestic front are looking for services that are relevant to the client base. We don't want to develop a technology that's not useful. Obviously, SD-WAN is very relevant. And we found Zen Layer uh, in uh, some of our discussions many, many uh, months ago, maybe two years ago, wait now. And <laughs> that we, is many months yeah, ago. Yeah. And so we thought it's perfect to look at you know, future technologies that really augment what we do globally and, and, or what we're attempting to do globally. But you know, the customers benefit many, in many ways, uh, our customers. Our customers are ones that are, work 24 by seven. Sometimes they need to, to have network spun up in a matter of minutes, hours, days. So the agility and provisioning, agility and managing application, uh, security concerns when you look at maybe interfacing on a global network, uh, in a global network, when you think about internet connections. So 
SD-WAN solves so many of our issues as we look to the future. And Zen Layer was the perfect partner. As they're growing, we are, will grow globally mm -hmm. with their technology supporting us. So. Outstanding, Richard, and that was the perfect segue for my next question because I know that uh, that Wade, the, the partnership really kind of extends your capability and your reach. Why don't you tell our mm -hmm. viewers about that? So uh, with Zen there, we have about 80 plus pops, and that's growing. Mm -hmm. Where we work in the data centers, we have the local IP transit, and also we procure a lot of the backbone network. Mm -hmm. So partnering with um, PLTT is great because they have a very strong Philippine uh, and Southeast Asia network and also going to the U.S., London as well. So they're also very global and that ties in perfectly with what we're doing. Um, mm -hmm. So because we're able to uh, have that network in place already, mm -hmm. uh, areas where we're weak or we're working with the carriers, we can actually bolster their network. So not just Philippine to L.A., they mm -hmm. can reach anywhere in the U.S. where we have a presence. They can reach into China where we have a presence. They can reach into India and Indonesia, you know, Southeast Asia's there's a lot of people that are, you know, looking on their mobiles, growing. The internet landscape is, um, you know, just exploding there, mm -hmm. right? So the ability to tap into, like, you know, six more data centers in India, another five in Indonesia, uh, Amsterdam, London, like, with a touch of a button. So you're that's not kidding. That's doing. that's real expansion there, right? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. That's that's awesome. So, um, guys, the the underlying technology um, that we're talking about here is SD WAN. Um, SD WAN is obviously very topical, very buzzy, especially around the ITW show floor. Um, but that's that's what's happening now, and and we haven't really uh, discussed what's happening in the future. So here's for the last question. What I'd like to do is just have each of you tell me um, where you think SD WAN is going, the future of SD-WAN as it relates to your companies. Victor, we'll start with you. Well, uh, the good thing about SD-WAN is that uh, it gives you the flexibility, especially its bandwidth on demand capability. So uh, businesses can just uh, scale connectivity up and down uh, for peak and value requirements. So that's the good, especially now with the explosion of data, with most of our customers wanting or sending video uh, data. Uh, in their circuits or in their in their in their bandwidth or connectivity, mm -hmm. so this is uh, an opportunity for for PLDT. We have a growing base of customers. This is our this is our uh, mission, which is to uh, to give available technologies uh, or enable our customers with these new latest technologies mm -hmm. to make them competitive in this uh, in this in this environment. Thank you very much, Victor Richard. It's something that exists today, but it's so critical. When you look at the speed of provisioning global networks, so where are we going in the future as an industry, as businesses? Things are happening at light speed, as we know. So we need to make relevant services and products to make sure we assure the fastest provisioning possible. Mm -hmm. SD-WAN with ZenLayer allows us to do that, unlike we've seen in global networks. So you can compare it to a lot of different technologies, layer three, layer two, but what it does, it really helps us define global networks faster, better. Security actually improves in some way. Sure. We won't get this. He's the technical guy here, <laughs> but it, it really does uh, fulfill so many things that are future issues. I mean, we're talking now five, ten years down the road. That's what we have to do as technologists in our industry. We have to look five years from now and say, what is it going to be? Obviously, we want to be relevant, you sure. know, right? Because we, we don't want to produce a product and and say, oh gosh, you know, we hope you you use Oops. it, right? <laughs> yeah, that happens, right, obviously. But you know, we want to support our global community of, uh, of customers mm -hmm. and future customers. And I know that speed, provisioning, assurance of application, mm -hmm. uh, applications, uh, plural, is so critical. So you can say whatever technology is gonna be down the road, but those things are so important to whatever we do. Sure. And I think it allows us to have this capability uh, as far as SD-WAN. It, it's uh, something that is really relevant now and in the in the near term and long term future. Outstanding, yeah. thank you, Richard. And Wade, you have the final word. What say you, buddy? So we're uh, really excited to work with them on this because obviously um, in that space, like the SD-WAN is helping them provision stuff instantly. Mm -hmm. And right now we're kind of catching up with everyone that's already using cloud and being sure. able to s turn stuff up, up on demand. And they're used to that, right? So by allowing them to do this and then doing this across the entire vertical from the bare metal that can be turned up on demand to the circuits that can be turned up on demand to dynamic acceleration, that they can turn up on demand and then allowing them to do this globally. You know, imagine being able to turn up a global network in like 80 some odd pops with all the backbones, local IP transit, you know, with a touch of button, you know, yeah, within yeah, a day, yeah, they yeah. can provision that and it can scale, yeah. you know, it lets them scale up and down. So that's like something that is very unique. 
Outstanding. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us and for your time today. Hopefully you are uh, having a great show and you will enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very you much. bet. Thank you, you bet. And thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon. Thank you.